To your hats because it appears that Whoopi Goldberg is causing a commotion at The View once more. According to gossip among celebrities, her co-hosts are almost ready to scoff into the following week as a result of her antics. Are you serious? The real kicker is right here. Whoopi, our girl, appears to be actively engaged in damage control. Yes, you heard correctly. She has been producing excuses left and right, as though she were on a tour of atonement. You know, she issued an apology for her words on The View on March 15. After discussing Donald Trump's loss in the 2020 presidential election on air and addressing folks who still think that he was, you know, gypped in the election, the moderator apologized in a video posted to The View's Twitter account. The phrase is thought to be offensive to those of Romani heritage. You know, when you get to a certain age, you start using words that you remember saying or knowing from when you were a kid, and that's what I did today. Moreover, I shouldn't have I should have given it a bit more thought before speaking, but I didn't. I should have said cheated instead. I then said another word. In her video apology, Goldberg stated, and I'm really, really sorry. Back in December of last year, she also apologized for her incredibly harsh remarks regarding the Holocaust. Regarding my remarks from earlier this year, I was questioned. I made an effort to explain to the reporter what I had said and why, as well as to retell the incident. She said that she had spoken to individuals, including Rabbis, about her initial remarks and that it was never her aim to appear as though she was doubling back on cruel remarks. About 10 months ago, Goldberg initially made the public statements on an episode of The View, asserting that the Holocaust was not about race but rather human inhumanity. She later expressed regret and received a two-week suspension from the show. Whoopi is back at it, though, and this time her regrets might not be enough. In fact, according to her supporters, her co-hosts ought to fire her for all the unfavorable press she is generating. Anyway, Whoopi attacked Jason Aldean's most recent music video harshly in her most recent antics. The talk show presenter was forthright in her comments regarding The View. She questioned the video's usage of symbols from the Black Lives Matter movement, stating that the demonstrators were only protecting one another and their community in the face of what they saw as injustice. Just be aware that when you bring up Black Lives Matter, people will essentially ask, Are you serious? Do you? Evidently, Whoopi felt compelled to mention the possibility that mentioning Black Lives Matter would cast doubt on the video's message. She continued by praising Jason and the writers for their artistic abilities. Choices, maintaining that Jason or the writers were unaware that these people were making that choice. On the other hand, Jason gave a forceful demonstration of support and resiliency in his fast response to Whoopi's accusations. During one of his gigs, Aldine directly addressed the controversy. He spoke fervently about the significance of try that in a small town and the factors that went into picking the courthouse as the site. Regardless of color or ethnicity, Aldine claimed that the song is about supporting one another and fighting against devastation and violence. He also highlighted his dissatisfaction with the music industry's double standards, which praise and reward songs that glorify violence, drug use, and the denigration of women. While being attacked and misrepresented, this is a song that celebrates community and unity. In a tweet, he claimed that I had been accused of releasing a song that supported lynchings. The song had been released in May and had been compared, I quote, to not too pleased with the nationwide BLM protests. These references are risky in addition to being worthless. The song doesn't have a single line that mentions or alludes to race, and all of the video clips are taken from actual news reports. And while I can strive to respect the right of others to interpret songs musically in their own ways, this interpretation goes too far. Fans have also reacted passionately to Whoopi Goldberg's open comments regarding Jason Aldean's contentious music video. While some fans value her viewpoint, some people are not hiding their dismay and have even called her a sellout for her words. These unfavorable remarks accuse Whoopi, along with the entire program, of compromising her morals to support the visuals in the video. It's time for someone to confront these self-styled virtue signalers.
Their opinions are not honorable. They lack knowledge. Try not to invent Whoopi. One supporter said, this time it won't work. Another supporter commented, I think The View, these women, and the network should be sued. Between freedom of speech and slander and defamation, there is a thin line. You can see how Whoopi is making the show's viewers feel uneasy. And believe me when I say that this is only the tip of the iceberg. She has seriously damaged The View's credibility in recent weeks. So Ms. Whoopi had a tremendous meltdown last week that had everyone in awe. Imagine this couple struggles to get intimate while traveling were the main topic of conversation. Oh my goodness, though, have things taken a crazy turn. Our girl, the vivacious 34-year-old Alyssa Farah Gryphon, gave some sexy statistics regarding couples making out in public. But because of Whoopi, keep your wigs in place. Oh my goodness, Whoopi decided to step it up a notch. She began talking about poolside antics and water resistance in greater detail than anyone could stomach. Yes, you heard correctly. Even at the age of 80, Joy Bihar couldn't help but dig up even more delicious details. Whoopi, on the other hand, didn't hesitate to get right down to the details. But be patient. Brian Tita, the show's producer, attempted to slow down. But Whoopi was having none of it. Hold up. You told me to get into it, she said. You now want to silence me. The drama was out of this world, but there was more. Whoopi, our girl, has been having a great run lately. Do you recall when she decided to target none other than Florida Governor Ron DeSantis? That's accurate. She showed no reluctance at all. She didn't simply spew slurs, in fact. Her co-host was persuaded to join her in the shade. TV should continue. She prefers throwing stars. At the ripe old age of 67, Whoopi unleashed a verbal onslaught on the program that could compete with a June downpour. The subject at hand is DeSantis' defense of Florida's new educational standards, which some claim implies that slaves benefited from their own forced labor. Are you serious? Whoopi was steaming hotter than a hot cup of coffee, and she wasn't going to absolve DeSantis of responsibility. In a very candid outburst, our Oscar-winning diva attacked DeSantis, labeling him a shame. The tension was evident as her co-host, Alyssa Farah Gryphon, jumped in on the live broadcast, expressing her disdain for the governor she once knew from her White House days. Readers, as Whoopi articulated her ideas on the subject with the skill of an accomplished orator, the studio audience watched in wonder as Whoopi addressed DeSantis directly as the discussion progressed. It was as though everyone was waiting breathlessly for her to finish. She denounced the attempt to downplay the atrocities of slavery while delivering a speech that could move mountains, her eyes flaming with rage. It also didn't end there. Anna Navarro, who was quick to join in and offer her own angry opinion, added to the conversation. She had a first-hand view of the cultural conflicts DeSantis appeared to be stoking because she herself